This is number 11 in the series on the Holy Spirit and spirituality entitled Grieving and Resisting the Spirit. And this is a kind of a sad lesson on a very dull day, to be very honest, thinking about the negative impact of pushing the Spirit away. Let me read you one of the key texts for this time. It's in Mark chapter 3, verse 28, the words of Jesus. I tell you the truth, all sins and blasphemies can be forgiven. But if someone blasphemes by rejecting the Holy Spirit, they can never be forgiven because they are guilty of an eternal sin. Jesus said this because they said he has an evil spirit. In other words, identifying Jesus not as being of the true spirit, the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, but of the evil one, the evil spirit. And that really is at the heart of today's lesson. It talks about the unpardonable sin, the sin which cannot be forgiven. Why? Because we don't ask to be forgiven. My conviction after many years of pastoring, dealing with people who said, I've committed the unpardonable sin, is to say, if you're still thinking about it, you're still worried about it, you're still asking for forgiveness for it, it's not an unforgivable sin. All sins and blasphemies can be forgiven, Jesus said. That's a categorical statement. It's pushing away the Spirit and not wanting to have anything to do with Him that is the real problem. When we reject the Spirit, when we choose to live a life of sin, when we say, no, we don't want to change, no, we don't want to come to God to be healed, to be forgiven, to be changed into people who truly are good, then we are rejecting the Spirit and there is no forgiveness because we're not asking. God won't force forgiveness upon anyone. He isn't going to compel us to do what is right. The Spirit convicts us of sin, but once we're convicted of sin, then we have to be the ones who do something about it. In the notes for this time, I put in a poem, and I thought it would be interesting to think a little bit about those last words of it. It's talking about the sin against the Holy Spirit. This is the sin against the Holy Ghost. It's written by Vachel Lindsay, entitled The Unpardonable Sin. The very end of the poem says this. This is the sin against the Holy Ghost. This is the sin no purging can atone. To send forth rapine in the name of Christ, to set the face and make the heart a stone. That's the problem, isn't it? When we make our hearts like stone, when we don't feel any impression of the Holy Spirit, when it's just like water running off the stone, cold, unfeeling, heartless, that is the problem of rejecting the Spirit. And I pray that the Holy Spirit may implore, plead, whatever word you want to use, with you to change not to reject him, not to say, I don't want to know, not to say, I refuse, but to say, yes, Lord, help me. I need to be changed. I need the Spirit to guide me. He needs to be part of my life. He needs to change me. He needs to convert me from the inside out. And may you, as you think of these things, and as you study, be truly blessed of God.